Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I'd like to show you how to make these cute fish cake decorations. Now these decorations are part of my Under the Sea theme series and if you'd like to take a look at any of the other tutorials I'll leave a link in the description. Okay then, let's begin. So firstly I've got about 10 grams of light purple modelling paste that I've moulded into a pliable and then formed into a little sausage shape. I'm now using my cake smoother just to flatten it slightly and I'm just going to smooth off the edges there. And I'm now just going to gently elongate that sausage shape. Again, I'm just going to taper down the sides. And now I'm going to be down about a third and I'm just going to roll between my fingers to create the back fin there. And I just keep rolling it and then flattening it and then rolling it and then flattening it until I'm happy with the shape. And then I'm just going to flatten and make the front look like a fish as well. And I'm just going to keep going until I've got the fish shape that I want. Now I'm just going to mark some lines on the back of the fin with my Dresden tool. Just gently score it as I go along. And then I'm just going to make sure that I've got some little divots at the end of those lines there with the Dresden tool again. And there we go. I'm just going to fin off the end there. So I coloured this modelling paste using some food colouring paste and I'll leave a link to everything that I use in this tutorial in the description so you can take a closer look later. Okay, so now I've just got my ball tool. I'm just going to mark in an eye socket. There we go. And then I've got my Dresden tool again. I'm just going to gently mark in a mouth. So if you do like this tutorial, please do give it a thumbs up as it really helps my channel. Okay, there's the mouth. Okay, so now I'm just going to stick in a small ball of white modelling paste into the eye area. And then I'm going to get my ball tool just to secure it. And then the smaller end of the ball tool, I'm just going to create another hole inside that white for the pupil. Which I'm just going to put a little bit of black modelling paste in. And then I'm securing with my ball tool again. And now I'm just going to add some highlights and I've just got some small balls of white modelling paste, one bigger than the other. I'm just going to gently stick them into position. I just use my brush to pick them up and secure with the ball tool. So I'm using clear alcohol to stick these into position, but you could also use edible glue if you wish. And there we go. So now I've got the open end of a large piping tip and I'm just going to press that in to score a little of a curved line just behind where the eye is. And then I'm just going to use a knife just to carry that line on at the top and the bottom of the fish. And there we go. And then if you need to smooth that line off, you can do that with a clean small brush. And next I'm going to mark some scales on my fish and to do this I've got a Wilton 104 piping tip and I'm going to use the larger end of this tip to press in the scales which you can see there. So you can put in as many scales as you like. Okay so now I'm going to make the top fin from some darker purple modelling paste, about a pea size amount that I'm just rolling into a tube. I'm just going to flatten it with my smoother again. I'm just going to shape it slightly with my fingers, check for size, and then I'm going to use my knife tool to mark some lines. So I'm just going to gently roll the knife tool and then it won't spread out the paste anymore. So just gently roll in at an angle, and then I'm just going to use the knife tool also just to create some little divots at the end of those lines there. Again, you can clear up the lines with a dry brush if you need to. And now I'm just going to use my blade tool just to make sure I've got some nice curves at the top of my fin. So similar to the tail fin. There we go. Just going to check that for size. And then just to help stick this into position, I'm just putting a flat piece of modelling paste on the back of the fish and also protruding out a little bit so the fin has something to stick on to. So I'm just rolling that out and I'm just going to cut that to size with some scissors. So I want it to be less width than the fin so you can't see it. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of clear alcohol, stick that onto the fish 
and then it protrudes out a little bit as you can see there so we can pop the fin into position. There we go. And now I'm going to make the smaller fin in a really similar way. I've got a tiny ball of purple modelling paste which I'm going to form into a flat triangle shape with my fingers. And then I'm going to use the knife tool again just to kind of curve round to create three lines. And then again I'm going to use the knife tool just to create little divots at the end of the line so you get that nice little curved effect. Okay, I'm just going to snip off the end there to lose the point. Just going to push that together. Check for size and then I'm just going to put a little bit of clear alcohol kind of where the line is that, that we've made there with the large piping nozzle and I'm just going to stick that into position. And you can kind of lift the other end up to give you a nice 3D effect. Okay, so lastly I'm going to give my fish an eyelash. I've got a tiny ball of bat modelling paste that I'm rolling on my palm. So it's going to get tapered at both ends as you can see there. I'm just going to add a little bit of clear alcohol across the top of the eye. And then I'm going to use that brush to pick up the black modelling paste. And then I'm going to dry the brush off and then I'm going to use it to shape it around the eye. I'm going to push it round to the front there and then round the back and then I'm just going to use my Dresden tool just to help push the end up so I've got a little flick at the end there for the eyelash. Okay so now I'm going to add some shading to my fish and to do this I've got some grape violet edible dust and I'm just going to take off the excess off the kitchen towel I can see there and then I'm just going to gently build up the colour on the tail of the fish. So I want it darker at the ends and lighter at the top of the fin. You want to be careful as you put it on because you can easily put it on but you can't take it off. And then just to add a little bit of shimmer I'm just adding some pearl white luster dust all over the fish. Starting at the front of the fish and then doing the tail last, then you can't transfer any of that purple that you've put on the tail. I really feel like this brings the fish to life. I hope you can see that sparkle there. Okay, so that's the purple fish done. And I'm just going to show you how to do the fin on the yellow fish here. So to do this, you need to create a thinner fin. So you can see I'm flattening it out more. So it'll look a bit bigger and then I'm going to score just like I did before with my Dresden tool but this time I'm going to create more lines that I did before. And then again I'm going to create the little divots at the end of the line which I did before. And after I've done that I'm going to turn my Dresden tool over and I'm just going to press in with my curved edge and you can see it's creating the little kind of fan effect on the tail. And another thing I want to point out that if you want your fish to go in the other direction then you're going to have to turn your fish around before you pop the eye in. So here you can see I'm going to turn the fish around because I want the fish to swim in the other direction to the first ones I made. So then I'm going to pop the eye in there. So I'm just going to carry on and build up the rest of my fish and then I'll just show you how to do the fin which is pretty much in the same way as the tail really. So we're going to roll the sausage, make it flat. But again I want this to be a little bit thinner because when you press in with the dressing tool it makes it thick. So you want to make sure this end is thinner. And then I'm going to mark the lines again with my knife tool. Create the little divots again with the knife tool before using the Dresden tool to create the little curvy imprints there. So the more you do it the more imprints you'll get. So the smaller fin is made in exactly the same way as before and then using the Dresden tool to create the little imprints. And for this fish I decided to use a eucalyptus luster dust on the tail and then obviously the nice pearl dust to make it that sparkle. So these fish could be used as cupcake toppers as well as cake decorations. If you add them to the side of a cake you may need to add a little like, ball of fondant on the back of it just to help it stick to the cake. 
lets your fish cake decorations made. I really hope that you like this tutorial. Please don't forget to check out my other ones. Please comment, like and subscribe for more and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.